Hey guys, King Gath here with another patch for Sim Settlements. This is patch 4.2.5, which I'm calling Rise of the Script Extender. So as many of you guys know, I stay away from the Script Extender. I use it for my playthroughs, but I don't tend to do anything with it because to me it seems like a betrayal to our massive Xbox audience. But I finally broke down and I started experimenting with it and uh, it got us some new features. Now this patch is not all just for PC players. In fact, I am going to be an absolute minima minimalist with script extender stuff because of that. I don't wanna spend a lot of development time on something that only half of you guys can use. So uh, we're gonna talk about everything that this patch does because there is a lot of cool stuff for Xbox. In fact, one of the biggest things that's launching today is a new system called the Layout System. That's gonna be in a separate video about Workshop Framework, and I'm gonna be doing a live stream tonight where I'm gonna go over that system. That is gonna be huge for you guys on Xbox. Uh, but I wanna focus on Sim Settlements stuff for now. So there's updates to Sim Settlements, Conqueror, obviously Workshop Framework, as I mentioned, and also Workshop Plus. I finally uh, had a, some time to uh, fix a few bugs in that software. So uh, go grab all those updates. But before we go any further, I just wanna throw a welcome out to Michael Hatchard, Michael Polanski, Coco Co, Rick Shee, and Kona One. Welcome to the Sim Settlements family, and thank you for supporting us on Patreon. Really, really appreciate that. We are doing more and more on our team with stuff that costs money, so you guys are uh, helping to uh, fund the development effectively uh, because uh, we're able to purchase assets and services that uh, we would probably not dip into our own pockets for, so we're getting cooler stuff than ever before, and you guys will see some of that stuff as uh, the year unfolds. But uh, heading back to the patch notes, let's talk about some of the first things I started to figure out here. So I am in Finch Farm, and uh, the name of the patch notes not only was alluding to the script extender, but also Rise of the Commonwealth, and that's because I finally enabled a feature that has been sitting dormant in Rise of the Commonwealth since launch, or rather, the potential for it was there. So all along, I've been wanting to have power that could be run through the wires, which is something that C. Dante of Transfer Settlements showed us was possible, and big shout out to C. Dante. Some of his help was instrumental in pulling off all of these things, the new workshops framework system, these updates to some settlements, etc. So uh, thank you so much, C. Dante, if you happen to watch this. And uh, he helped me get through some of the tough parts of uh, the of the script extender. Wow, I just blanked totally there. Script extender stuff. So the new the thing I've been wanting is for wires to run, and the data to do that has been sitting in city plans all along. Now this won't work on every city plan. It depends on whether or not the person who designed it bothered to wire the thing up, knowing that some settlements didn't support wires before. But fortunately for Rise of the Commonwealth, we did know this feature was eventually going to come, so we ran the wires everywhere. And what you'll find is if you go to the blueprint and any of your settlements that have city plans applied, there's a new option here called Run City Plan Power Lines. And if you have F4SE, you will get this. If you're on Xbox, you will not get this. So this is a F4SE uh, thing only. And in addition to that, if you and you do have to have Workshop Framework as well. The Workshop Framework provides the interface for F4SE so that uh, we do not have to have a dependency on it. So one of the things that Workshop Framework does that uh, you mod developers might want to know is it provides intermediary frameworks for things like HUD framework and F4SE so that you can use those openly only having Workshop Framework as a parent and Workshop Framework will automatically handle the uh, downgrade of services and uh, letting your, your function calls fail gracefully without you having to put direct dependencies on those things. So uh, Workshop Framework is required for this feature. It is not required for some settlements. So if we hit this, you'll see that it taps into another little part of Workshop Framework that was just added, which is the new dynamic progress bar system. And uh, I did a custom little icon for some settlements for it. So that will start scanning. And uh, there's three phases to this. The first is scanning. It's just getting stuff in the uh, background. And the next will be powering. And that's when we'll see wires starting to appear. So this is enabled by F4SE. So F4SE users will gain this. Xbox users, you continue to use the city plans as you did. And if you have all of the prerequisite components installed already, so you have F4SE, you have Workshop Framework, and you build or upgrade a new city plan, this wiring will happen automatically when you are in the settlement. If you are not in the settlement when it occurs, you will need to go manually trigger, trigger this from the city planner's desk, because as far as I know, is that this cannot be done remotely, though I'll try it eventually and see how it goes. But I, I'm guessing that uh, the game would crash if we tried to run wires remotely. So right now, it only happens if you happen to be in the settlement, or if you trigger it manually from that desk. So that is a cool new thing that we have going on for city plans. And because of that, that's got me thinking about 
some new hollow tape options because I thought some of you, maybe some of you don't want this. Maybe some of you like the challenge of wiring up those city plans manually. And then for others of you, you might not want the free power. So as many of you guys probably know, every item that's created with the city plan is uh, self-generating power. It doesn't actually need to be hooked up to power at all. And some of you might consider that imbalanced. Well, now you can turn that off. Even those of you who are on Xbox or don't have FRC, if you want to turn that off, you now have that option. So I'm going to show you the new options. As always, when I show you stuff in MCM, this is available in the hollow tape as well. But if we go into Sim Settlements, we go down to City Building, you'll see that there are some new options. So first up is the Auto Wire option. This is uh, going to make it so that whenever City Plans upgrade, it will attempt to auto wire as long as the settlement is loaded in the area where you are. Otherwise, you can always access it from the blueprint on the City Planner's desk. Next new option we have is the place plots immediately. Now this is one is off by default and uh, you guys have been asking me for this for a long time and for some reason I thought it was going to be more complicated than it was. It turned out to be incredibly easy and I'm glad I added it in because uh, it's, uh, it's a cool little, little quality of life improvement for those of you guys who like to get your hands dirty with uh, your your city plans where you like to change the building plans or swap the plots etc for those of you guys who don't like to get your hands dirty you should leave this off because it'll keep the system it'll keep the settlement progression feeling more natural as settlers move in they'll build themselves homes as opposed to those homes just popping up waiting for them which is what will happen if you turn this on but if you're the type of person that likes to customize your city plans turning this on before you build is a good idea and then lastly we have the self power items so this will if you turn this off this is on by default even if you have frsc this is still on by default but if you turn this off, then your city plan items will not be self-powered. They will require grid power. One thing to be aware of this, if you turn this off for certain items that are snapping power, such as vault uh, what do you call them? Like the wall and floor pieces, they actually transfer power through snaps. The conduit system from one of the DLC, those things do not work correctly and do not transmit power correctly without F or SE and this new update to do the powering. So that wiring that's happening in the background, it's also handling snap based power. So that is one of the reasons that this self power item system is still on by default, because until you run that wiring and let F or SE do its fixing, a lot of your items don't actually work as you'd expect them to. So this is a this overall system. If you've got F or SE, your city plans just got way better. They're uh, almost is exactly the same as if you'd built them yourself. They're all fully functional now, thanks to F or SE. So those of you guys on Xbox, I'd recommend you keep this on. All right, then I added one other option, and it was just something that came up for me when I was uh, experimenting with something. I, I started getting annoyed by something, and so I decided to go ahead and give everybody a solution to it, and that is the confirm plot movement under usability. So if you turn this off, and I'll just show you what happens. Actually, I'll show you what happens with it on, because this is the default behavior, just so you guys all, we all know we're on the same page here, what, we, what I'm uh, talking about here. But basically, when you go up to a, if we can get into workshop mode, if we go up to a uh, plot here and pick it up, I'm sure you guys are all familiar with this, you get this little option. Uh, and that's all well and good and it's a good thing for new players to have just so that they learn about some settlements and learn about the fact that they're not meant to pick those up and that once you do you have to the the cost of moving them is that they'll be reset back to level one that's good to know but for those of you guys who are vets you know about that that can be irritating because you probably always select the exact same option which is the yeah i know um and keep the same building plan i think that's what most of us choose so now this option if you put this off it just automatically assumes that's what your answer is going to be and that's what it will answer for you automatically so now we can go in we can pick up a plot it's not going to prompt us it's just going to destroy the plot and it will rebuild it back to level one as soon as it as soon as we set it down so now we can just get back to building and the reason i ended up doing this is because i was going through moving my items around on layers for uh workshop plus and i kept getting kicked out of workshop mode to answer because i didn't want the levels getting messed up uh, and so i just finally snapped and uh decided to come up with that solution so now you guys can turn off that option if it uh if it annoys you and it will no longer prompt you up there all right so beyond that the other big changes in this patch are regarding that workshop framework layout system i made sure that sim settlement supports it fully all of its plots it's, it's uh the blue man markers all that stuff works great with the new layout system and uh, you guys can learn more about that layout system in the other videos that i'll have i'll have posted either immediately after this or within 15 20 minutes i usually schedule if i have multiple videos in a day i usually stagger them 15 minutes apart just to make sure everybody gets those notices and don't, doesn't miss out on any but uh, those should be out very shortly explaining that new layout system but effectively it's a way to uh import settlements 
or export and import settlements similar to transfer settlements but this method will let you import not imp export but import to xbox and in addition to that the exporter from workshop framework also supports all of the features of sim settlements there are a few that aren't supported by transfer settlements that workshop frameworks exporter does support and that includes things like the building plan skins and the branching building plans the branching building plans actually are supported by transfer settlements now they uh had not been until i started learning how to deal with it for my workshop framework exports and then i was able to go in and fix it so that means that all those city plans that you guys have out there especially yagasan i know is one who does this a lot uh who pre-planned them with the idea that they would be used with industrial revolution those will now work as expected so now those will eventually level up into the appropriate uh, building plan that they wanted assuming that uh, you the player let them handle happen naturally all right so let's go to one more thing and that is the city plan maker website so i recently posted this up on our website to point out this fact but i thought i'd show it off in a video as well because i know not all of you are on the forums well this thing has got an overhaul it is now much more powerful and the idea here is that you guys can create your own city plan packs so basically you can fill out all these details upload a transfer settlements blueprint or uh this will be later updated basically as soon as i uh stop recording this video it's going to say blueprint or wsfw export because it now supports both um, and then you basically upload that give a name for your city plan and then you can add as many as you want so you can just keep adding them or if you want to go back and edit them you can click on any of these so it's a fully dynamic site we can use now and build yourself an entire city plan pack and then of course you've got options here for naming your file filling all this stuff all of this is explained in these little question blocks so the site just got a major overhaul and now you guys can create your own city plan packs now of course you do have to have the blueprints this is not a way for you to take individual city plans and merge them together if you are not the creator it does not merge esl files or esp files it is a way for city plan, plan designers to release their own or if people if mod authors want to collaborate or for those of you guys who have city plan or rather settlement designs on your PC and you want to share them with each other at city plans, you can do so. There is a similar tool for workshop framework for generating the layouts that can be released on Xbox as well. The big difference between the city plans and the layouts is the layouts do not require some settlements, but they also don't support levels. So if you want a fancy city plan that has levels and can upgrade over time and that works with Conqueror's pre-build system, you do a city plan. If you just want to take your non-sim settlements design and you wanna share it with the world, you use the uh, layout creator, which will be linked on that workshop framework video. The tools work almost identically. The big difference between them is that the city plan one has this switch to leveled plan so that you can upload a blueprint for each of your different levels. So check out all of the improvements to workshop framework. Check out this new some settlement stuff. I hope you guys are excited to have your wires run. I It's such a tiny little thing, but it matters so much. It just makes these feel so much more complete now that they have all their wires run. Really, really appreciate that. All right, and then finally, uh, I, th I think I forgot this last uh, patch and then we, we had to like edit it in at the end, but uh, we're gonna do our t-shirt giveaway. So for those of you guys who don't know, basically every patch we give away a t-shirt to somebody in the comments. Uh, basically just leave a comment about anything you want, about uh, some settlements, about workshop framework, something you're excited about, give me a bug report, tell me a funny story, make a funny comment, anything, but also include the hashtag wire me up. So I am gonna pick one of you guys on Monday at random. I will respond to your comment. And if you get back to me within 24 hours, I will hook you up with a Sim Settlements t-shirt. And uh, again, the make sure you include something in addition to hashtag wire me up. I don't wanna just have 400 comments that say hashtag wire me up. So uh, go ahead and uh, respond, reply with that. And I'll pick one of you guys on Monday. But otherwise guys, uh, stay tuned for my live stream tonight. I will be going on around 10 EST. I will do a full demonstration of the workshop framework layout system, and then I will do a Q&A. We can talk about uh, all of that system. We can talk about some settlements. We can talk about whatever you guys want. If you've never been to one of my live streams, I basically kick on the uh, game and OBS, and I just let it run until I fall asleep and uh, or you guys get bored. So uh, with all that said, take care and enjoy the months. Thank you.